Welcome back. So at this point, you're happy with your Dolby Atmos music mix. You've placed different elements and instruments around the space, maybe automated some interesting panning, and gotten the balance just right. Now it's time to render your mix. In this video, we'll take a look at the steps for creating your Dolby Atmos master files. We'll explore the settings and techniques you'll use to reach the integrated loudness target for delivery to streaming music services. When you first record your mix into the renderer, a Dolby Atmos master file will be created. From there, you can export an ADM B-Wave file. What's amazing about this format is that it's a single interleaf file that contains all of your mix information. This includes up to 128 channels of audio, all of the panning metadata and binaural settings. An ADM master file will then be delivered to a distributor or streaming service and encoded for playback on consumer devices. Speaking of consumer devices, another great feature of the Atmos renderer is that you can easily export a Dolby Atmos MP4 file. You can use this file for testing your mix on a wide range of playback devices to make sure everything is translating correctly. Let's take a closer look at how to do this. So when I'm ready to print my Dolby Atmos master file from the renderer, I make sure that my session and the renderer are both set to the same frame rate of 24 frames per second. You'll also want to make sure that you're working in 48 kilohertz and 24 bit resolution. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have your Dolby Atmos LTC generator plugin instantiated and routed correctly. In Pro Tools, to route that, you want to come into your I.O. And from there, you can see that I have the LTC assigned to the LTC output on the bus. And in the output section, we have it assigned to 129. And from there, you'll want to set it to 129 in the renderer. And the reason I like to assign it to 129 is that it comes after the last object at 128. So if you have all that set up, you'll next want to come back into the renderer where you're going to want to make sure you engage this LTC timecode button, which will chase the timecode from your session to the renderer. First thing I'm going to do before I print my Dolby Atmos render is I'm going to create some pre-roll. So you come in here to set up, go into session, and as you can see here, it starts at zero, but you want to change that to hour one. You hit OK to maintain the original time code locations. And from there, you're going to change this again to hour zero, 59 minutes, and 58 seconds. And then you click maintain time code. And what that will do is it will give you your two seconds of pre-roll before the recording begins. And then if I go back to my Dolby Atmos render, we're going to create a new master file. We'll call it Atmos Render Test. And from there, I can go into my FFOA, which stands for First Frame of Action. And I'm going to change that to Hour 1. And what that will do is give you that two seconds of pre-roll and then start recording at hour one. So we're going to select the beginning of the session. We're going to select the end of the content or the reference file. And what that will do is when your song completes, the rendering and recording will automatically end at the end of the song. So if I hit stop, you can see that it has now rendered that recording. It's also important to monitor the loudness levels in the renderer, and these settings will ensure that your music is being delivered correctly at the target loudness for distribution. With Atmos Music Tracks, the target loudness is a maximum of minus 18 decibels LKFS integrated. We're working on just one track here, but when you're assembling an album, which has a variation in dynamic range, you'll want the loudest track to sit at minus 18 integrated.
you can see the loudness meters here. There are a few different ways that you can reach your target loudness level when doing a Dolby Atmos music mix. First would be to check the integrated loudness level before rendering your mix. If you have LTC on, you can play your mix from the beginning to end and use the integrated loudness data displayed in the renderer. Another way you could do this is to analyze the loudness by going to a main section of the song where you can get a peak level readout using the short term loudness meter in the renderer. If you can get that loudness level to about minus 18 before doing your first full pass, it can usually save a bit of time. The next way that you can ensure that you have the desired loudness level would be to analyze the master file after rendering your mix. You can easily do this by going to the window drop down menu and selecting loudness, or simply by clicking Command plus L. So after you've ensured that your mix and your master file are at the correct integrated loudness level, the next thing you'll do is export an ADM B wave. And this is the master interleave file that will be the deliverable for music streaming services. And to do this, it's really simple. You just come in and you go into File, Export Audio, and scroll down to ADM B Wave. Another simple way is to just click Command A. One really cool feature of the renderer is that you can also export an MP4 file for testing on consumer playback devices, such as a Dolby Atmos soundbar or an AVR setup, or even headphones with your Dolby Atmos compatible mobile device. This is super quick and easy to do. And what you do is you come in here to File, go to Export Audio, and then in there you'll click MP4, go to Encoding Mode, and make sure you select Music. As we said earlier, the binaural metadata from your headphone mix is also stored in the ADM file. When you're happy with what you've created, the final version of your music can be delivered to supported Dolby Atmos music streaming services or physical formats like Blu-ray. This is usually handled by your record label or music distributor. There are many pro and indie distribution services enabled for Dolby Atmos Music. For more detailed information on specs for delivery, please check out the Dolby Atmos Music Master Delivery Guide at dolby.com slash music slash create. We hope that you found this video series helpful and look forward to hearing all the wonderful tunes you'll make in Dolby Atmos.